Stephen Morocco for MMA Fighting here with Jeff Neal, who faces Mike Perry on Saturday at UFC 245. And I saw the report this morning. You are a full-time fighter. Yeah, I'm a full-time fighter now. I quit, uh, what, like a week after I found out I was fighting Mike Perry. Mm -hmm. Those two things related? No, I, I was already uh, trying to quit. Like, I've been telling people, I've, like, I was like, I'm going to put in my two weeks this week. I'm putting my two weeks next week. But uh, I just didn't want to leave them uh, hanging, you know what I mean? I wanted them to have somebody else to, like, replace me. I didn't want to just leave and them be asked out and uh, having to find a replacement for me. So it took a minute. At one point, you actually said you were going to make a, you wanted to make a million dollars, right? What, what, happened, what happened to that? Um, I, I started going to work and uh, being angry. I'm not an angry person, you know what I mean? It started getting to the point where I just wanted to beat up my managers and slap guests. And it's like, let me get out of this situation before I end up doing something stupid and costing my career, you know what I mean? So I got out of there. So things didn't get better for you as you got more fame and notoriety in the UFC? Like going to work wasn't easier for you? People were nicer to you? Anything like that? It, it, it was. I think it was the late hours. Uh, I worked in a place that uh, during the weekends, which I prefer to work, I, didn't, I wasn't getting off to like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, and um, having to do that and wake up in the morning and train and then go back to work and repeat, repeat that uh, just wasn't ideal. And uh, now I have... Uh, more time to myself and it's less stress in my mind so I feel good about that. That was my next question. What sort of a difference has it made in your preparation? It, a, a big difference. I'm, I, I'm, I'm more clear-headed. I have more uh, time to focus on the mental aspect of the sport. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times I'm just like I have to separate myself from everything besides serving. I'm just having to focus on my tables and stuff like that and it's stressful. You know what I mean? Running back and forth and dealing with people who really don't give a damn about you. For like, and sometimes they don't tip you, so you just got to deal with all that crap. And now that that's in the back burner, I feel 100% better now. Do you feel differently in the UFC when you're here? Do you feel like you're home? Do you feel like the promotion cares about you? Yeah, I, I really do. You know what I mean? Uh, especially after this fight, um, I'm going to make sure, uh, no matter the outcome, I'm going to put on a show. You know what I mean? They got uh, me and Mike Perry on the last fight of the free loads for a reason. You know, so uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, that reason is not in vain. They keep matching you with guys who like to get pretty wild in the octagon. Nico know, right? Price, Frank Camacho, now Mike Perry. What's up with that? It's an honor. I mean, I guess that, that uh, that's a testament to me because they know that I'm going to step up to that challenge and give them what they want. So I, I don't want to be that guy the whole time. Eventually, I want to be the title contender. But uh, as of right now, I'll take these fights and I'll uh, put on the show, give them what they want. So did it surprise you at all that he's coming back so soon after that nose injury? Not at all. It's Mike Perry. He's a, he's. He's a fighter. He's a warrior. He's going to come back. Like another fighter, I wouldn't expect, but him, oh okay, yeah, I expect it. Yeah. Are you going to target it? If it happens, it happens. It's not going to be something that uh, that's not in my game plan. If that's your, if I hit him in the nose, it happens. I'm not going to not hit him in the nose if it's there, but uh, I'm not aiming for it. If that's what you mean. So that's five in a row. If you beat him, is it about time to start calling your shot? I went down like six though before I start calling a shot. I'm, I'm going to fight him, and then I'm going to hopefully get somebody in the uh, top ten. And then after that, we'll see where we're uh, where we're at.